You can read the future? Oh yeah? If you can read the future, then how many fingers am I gonna hold up? Zero? How'd she know? Clairvoyance is the term that describes the six month gap between the global and CN server. Basically, because global content is more or less delayed by six months from the CN schedule, we can get a better idea of which operators are worth pulling for, who we want to save for, and other events we should prepare for. I'm sure many, many of you like having this future foresight. The fact that you can plan ahead means that you can save money and overall risk less getting shafted by the gotcha system which I wholeheartedly agree with. A lot of you who like the schedule are probably low spenders, free to play, or beginners, which is the majority of the AK audience. I say a lot of you because I kind of wouldn't include myself in this group. I'm in the very, 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 very small percentage of Ark Knights players that actually want to catch up to CN to experience the content firsthand, fresh when it comes out, but I understand that this is happening basically never. And there's two main reasons why I want this to happen. The first one is the fact that because I know what banners are coming and what events there are, all my hype is practically gone once six months pass and it comes to EN. I remember being really excited for Neural Awesome when her PV came out for CN's 2.5 anniversary stream, but when it came to EN, I kind of just pulled on her banner and went, yep, this is definitely one of the Arknights events of all time. <laughs> The second reason is the fact that I'm a sweat at this game. Catching up to the CN servers would mean that during CC or some other sweaty tryhard stage, all the big groups would compete with each other for records. I mean, EN would probably get ratioed because we don't have as many good players as JP or CN, but it'd still be fun to watch people snipe each other left and right. We're six months late, which means that we're also six months behind on operators and module upgrades and whatever fancy system HG adds in the future, so let's say I want to beat a record in Vanguard Knights right now. I'd not only be missing the new operators such as Puzzle, Contabile, and Vigil, but I'd also miss stuff like the Pioneer module upgrades, all of which can easily make the difference in optimization. I mean, you could say that I can just compete in global server clears, but you know, there's not really many good Vanguard Knight players in global. Yeah, I know, it's only at the top. <laughs> Jokes aside, friendly competition with other good players is how communities push each other to get better and stronger, and having Global be aligned with the CN schedule would make the tryhard community stronger and more interesting to watch from an outside perspective. Imagine this, right? You wake up one day and check Twitter because you're a millennial in 2022 and boom, right there on your feed is the world's first CC69 max risk 5 billion done with 13 ops by CN. And then you go back to sleep because again, you're a millennial in 2022 and your only two choices of entertainment are sleep and social media. And then you wake up again and CN gets sniped by global? This can't be real. I understand clairvoyance has helped practically everyone in the global server, including me, but since I've been playing the game for years, my priorities have become less and less about building and raising operators, and more about just getting the millisecond of dopamine burst by doing a really cool clear for internet points. Are we gonna catch up to CN anytime soon? Yeah, no. Probably never, unless something super major happens in terms of scheduling. But at least it'd be nice to imagine what could've been. Okay, if you can really predict the future, what am I in the mood for for lunch? Tacos? Actually, you're wrong there. I was gonna go with pineapple pizza. You know, I think I am in the mood for tacos.